All right, so in this video, I'm going to show that it is definitely possible that if you have a custom power grade set up in DaVinci Resolve, you can grade an entire video like this. This simple project that I did, it's just a little video at the San Diego Zoo. I graded it with my power grade and it took one minute to grade the entire video. One click. And again, my power grade is all set up. It's all customized. Keep in mind that in order for this to work, you have to shoot your vlog L footage at middle gray. You have to account for middle gray when you shoot vlog L or any log profile. It doesn't matter whether it's Panasonic or Sony, it doesn't matter. And then also my custom Rec 709 conversion LUT that I made with DSC Labs Chroma Match Pro Color Chart. I have that in there. I've got my HDR wheels going. So I've done my own custom tone mapping. And you can see again, because it was exposed correctly in vlog L, there is no additional grading needed. This single grade accounts for everything with that let's go ahead and get started and i will show you just the idea of what i'm doing here so that you can see that you do not have to fight your footage in post if you get it right in camera and also while this is not applicable to more advanced projects it does remind you the power of getting it right in camera getting your vlog l exposed properly so here is the video and this is the source footage all of it was shot in panasonic vlog l color profile so the very cam logarithmic color profile the light version now all of this was shot properly in the field accounting for a middle gray and my white balance was also correct in camera so now I'm just gonna go into the color page now if we go to our gallery you can see I've got some power grades set up here now power grades are very similar to steels uh, they function basically the same as steels so you can just grab a steel from the viewer here but a power grade will persist through all projects within the same database so you can reference this power grade and apply it to shots and other projects again within the same database let's go ahead and right click this power grade and go to display node graph so you can see in this node network I've got quite a few things going on it could be a bit simplified but the idea of it is I've got some adjustments in log space then my HDR wheels this is where I tone map my log footage and then I've got my custom Rec 709 approximation LUT that I created with the DSC Labs Chroma Match Pro color chart. And this is where I remove tone mapping. And again, I get a Rec 709 approximation with colors that have been standardized to the Chroma Dumont colors of the Chroma Match Pro color chart. And then over here, you can see I've got some Rec 709 adjustments and then denoising with neat video, but I have that turned off by default because uh, YouTube will denoise your video anyway. And I don't generally denoise videos unless they actually need denoising. And then I convert to lab color space with a color space transform so that I can then sharpen the luminance channel and then I convert back from lab color space to standard timeline rec 709 color space and then finally a bit of a subtle film look here so some vignetting highlight bloom things like that so that's kind of the idea of what's going on here now you can see my power grade not only has my correction LUT that was created accounting for middle gray but I've got some of my own look applied in there as well so let's go and select all of these shots right here at the very end we'll select this one the first one so now to apply the power grade we can right click and choose apply grade or I can just middle mouse click it so resolve is going to think for a second and it's gonna apply the grade across the board to all of these shots now right out the gate everything is correct so my reflected whites are around 90 IRE on the waveform monitor and you can see that there really isn't a need to adjust any other shots that remember again the white balance was correct in camera so let's go and just go full screen here with the clips on the timeline. Again, I really don't need to do any further adjusting. So I'm not saying that this method is applicable to more serious projects, but understanding how to expose your vlog L footage correctly in the field and then applying a proper grading workflow to it can significantly speed up your workflow so that on more serious projects you can shoot with posts in mind. So as you can see again, I have not done any adjustments to any of these clips. Once I applied my power grade, everything is correct. Now, if for example, I did want to say on this giraffe here, if I wanted to brighten up the sky a bit, then I do sometimes adjust my high dynamic range wheels here. So I might go to the light wheel and just brighten it up a little bit. But again, I generally leave this alone on a simple project like this. So I just wanted to show you, this is more of a proof that if you shoot your vlog footage correctly in the field, then you actually do not have to do really that much work in post to get a pleasing result. So I just wanted to show that it's possible. And unfortunately, a lot of this information is difficult to come by. I had to do a lot of experimentation and test on my end to get this stuff working right. And thanks for watching.